Welcome to Top Notch TV, the paragon of excellence. With you today is teacher Rispa, a teacher from PCA Kikuyu High School teaching English and Literature. I'm an examiner as well as an author. I have the pleasure of being joined by my colleague, Madam Emis Jabani, a teacher from Alliance Girls High School. She's an examiner as well as an author. We continue today with further discussion of themes and I'll be welcoming my colleague to take us through the next theme. Welcome, Madam Emis. Hello, viewers. Welcome to our session. In our previous session, we looked at the first three major themes. Please go uh, back and uh, check it out and press that subscribe button. So today we are going to look at, on during this session, we are going to look at three other themes. Mm -hmm. And I will start us off with the theme of determination or resilience. So uh, this theme is developed by, majorly by teacher Nicole throughout the play. She's the one who develops the theme of determination because she does not give up even on the face of intimidation coming from various channels and various avenues. She does not give up and she believes in always fighting uh, for what is right. So we begin with our first uh, instance that is on page 18. And uh, during the launch, uh, the first... Uh, the first act, the first scene, during the launch of the Samaritan Hub, when Mia Moss learns what the Samaritan Hub is about, and that it's going to expose his weaknesses as uh, the leader of uh, the Maracas municipality, is against the launching of the app. So what does he do? He tells uh, Tuchaniko to write a letter to the ministry and uh, explains uh, that she has uh, doubts about the Samaritan, or rather discredit the Hub, so that the launch can officially stop. So he uses his power. He authoritatively talks to Nico and tells him, I have ordered you as the mayor of uh, Go write that letter and uh, I want to find a copy of that letter on my desk in one hour's time. But Nicole tells the mayor, remember this is the mayor, that I will do what is right and then she walks out of the school all so the second point so that point shows that nicole is determined to uh, focus on what is right and she does not actually uh, bow down to intimidation coming from uh, the leader of the maracas municipality page 49 the students, that is Alvita and Montano, express their fear because they tell Tuchaniko that they overheard what the leaders were saying to her and they feel that it's going to put her into trouble. So they ask Tuchaniko that they drop the application to save her from getting into trouble with the leaders. But Tuchaniko tells them no, that if they actually push for the idea of the Samaritan, then they are pushing for the better tomorrow and says that the best thing to do is make sure that they stand firm with what is right and not uh, listen to the intimidation of the the leader so uh even when people like uh, the students are supposed to give her the stamina to go on express their fear nicole is there to actually encourage them and guide them and tell them now they are not going to listen to intimidation they're not going to show fear mm -hmm. they are going to do what is right, right. so she's uh, resilient there and does not uh, bow to intimidation that is given by the leaders just like the students were about to do so the next point is uh page 56 57 and also continues us on page 130 principal narin tells Nicole to drop the issue of the app. Remember, every time the leaders were coming to see Nicole, they would do so through uh, Principal Narin. At some point, she is so agitated, she tells Nicole that she is not her maid. Mm -hmm. She is not her messenger. She is not a secretary mm -hmm. to receive uh, messages from the leaders that they are on their way to come see Nicole. Mm -hmm. She also tells Nicole that she has to, uh, to choose her battles. She has been an administrator for long and as someone old enough to be Nicole's mother, she advises Nicole to pick her battles. Know the value of picking the battles that you are going to fight and the ones to drop. So according to her, you cannot fight with Ms. Mayor, mm -hmm. the one she compares to the elephant, mm -hmm. and win. So she tells Nicole, you have to drop this. At some point on page one, that is, she even uh, turns to threats. Mm -hmm. She tells Nicole, if uh, I feel like the school is threatened, or myself, I will not even hesitate to hold you by your collar and drag you out of this school whenever an opening, an opening uh, a 
present itself. Present itself. Thank you mm -hmm. for that. So it seems that she's intimidating and actually threatening Nicole that mm -hmm. you have to drop the Samaritan issue mm -hmm. or else I am going to make you lose your job or I'm going to throw you out of mm -hmm. Sagranda Secondary School. But Nicole has some. Uh, do you want us to ab uh, abandon a great innovation just to please some political leaders? Mm -hmm. So Nicole knows that this is a very great innovation and she cannot drop it so that she pleases what? Uh, the leaders. So despite the intimidation and the threat coming from her own boss, mm -hmm. her own principal, she still does not uh, bow mm -hmm. to pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, she and decides to uh, follow what is right. Our next point is on page 61 to page 73. Uh, Mossy visits Nicole to school and tries to bribe her. So when Nicole refuses to accept the bribe and actually threatens him uh, by telling him that he can post whatever he's trying to do, bribing her mm -hmm. uh, on the Samaritan app, Mossy now realizes that Nicole is not going to do what uh, he wants her to do. And that now he turns into threats and intimidation. Mm -hmm. That's the time that he throws his card at her and it eats her on the face mm -hmm. and also tells her that uh, he's now talking as Mosi mm -hmm. Otunya. Mm -hmm. The smoke that that does. That she has to listen mm -hmm. to him and she has to do exactly what he has told him to, to do. At this point, uh, Mosi wanted Nicole to actually go through all the posts in the Samaritan, mm -hmm. filter them and only let what was positive be aired on the in the Samaritan. yeah on the Samaritan mm -hmm. and what was negative to be deleted by Nicole. Mm -hmm. So uh, it tells her that I hope by tomorrow I'll see you working on it. If not, then you'll know that I am the smoke that thunders. So N Nicole is fearful at this point, mm -hmm. but still. She does not what? Relent. Mm -hmm. She does not give in to pressure, to intimidation. She still follows what is right. Uh, page 93 to 98, uh, Bembe visits Nicole also at school. Uh, intimidates her. He is there with two other police officers. Mm -hmm. And he even tells her, if you see me involved in an arrest personally, mm -hmm. no, it is a very serious issue. Yes. Uh, so uh, even Ips force accusations on Nicole mm -hmm. to try and intimidate her into following what the, leader, the leaders wanted uh, mm -hmm. of her. So Nicole does not even lend she is even arrested at the end of that scene uh that is page uh, 93 98 mm -hmm. she is arrested by bembe on a friday afternoon and uh, she is uh, put behind bars the entire weekend mm -hmm. and arraigned in court on monday mm -hmm. but uh, fortunately the case uh, the case is dismissed because of lack of evidence but still that does not uh, make her apprehensive she does not fear she still forges on and decides to uh, follow this issue to uh, the end so that she can expose the rot in the society as well as make sure that there is a better tomorrow for people in the municipality. Our last point is on page 131 to 136. Uh, we see seven municipal leaders go to school to meet Nicole. Their presence alone is intimidating. Mm -hmm. You can imagine seven leaders led by Mayor Morsi, mm -hmm. all of them. Now that is after their meeting with Justice Jaden and they all agree mm -hmm. that the best thing to do is go offer Nicole Watt, mm -hmm. uh, a position so that uh, she can join their team and uh, save them from the Samaritan. So she's still not intimidated by their presence. She even goes ahead to actually uh, talk or lecture them on morality. Mm -hmm. When they offer him a seat, he lectures them on morality, on what is uh, good leadership and what the Maracas municipality needs, and which is uh, the contrary of what the leaders were offering. So she does not fear them. She does. She is determined to do what is right. And at the end of it all, we see that and determination wins because the corrupt leaders are actually arrested and we can see that uh, a bright uh, future or a new dawn is presenting itself uh, for the Maracas municipality. So that marks the end of our first theme, the theme of determination or resilience. So Teacher Rispa is going to take us through our next theme. Thank you, Teacher Amis, for taking us through the theme of determination. I hope we have learned a lot. The second theme in our today's session, I'll be talking about misuse of power. 
Before you can pick the points as to which ones will fall under the theme of misuse of power, we need to understand what is misusing power. And mis misuse of power, I'll be discussing it alongside poor leadership. Whenever we have poor leadership is the people that have been put in power, they are not doing as is expected of them. They end up misusing their power. Therefore, when you're looking at the theme of misuse of power, it is supposed to be coming from someone who holds a position that is in authority. Having said that, I'll be going to my first point. My first point, I'll be talking about Inspector Bembe. About Inspector Bembe, he has that, uh, he has that power that he has been given to him. And using that power, we see number one, he intimidates Nicole. He goes over to arrest Nicole and he even the wordings that he's using, he says, when you see me coming to make an arrest, it means that the offense is quite serious. Still on uh, Inspector Bembe and the way he deals with Nicole. He goes ahead and he wants to arrest her on trumped up charges, charges that he has just made up. You have stolen a school generator and the school generator that she is being accused of stealing, it is the same Inspector Bembe that has contracted some goons to go ahead and steal it. But lucky for Nicole, they never made it to go that far. I'm still on point number one on Inspector Bembe, but then another way that he misuses his power. We see that there's a time they wanted to intimidate Justice Jaden. And when they wanted to intimidate Justice Jaden, he goes ahead and he go, uh, he goes ahead and tries to say, I'm recording that statement. In other words, he can use the power that he has to make sure that Justice Jaden also sees the inside of a police cell. And you see that at that point, Justice Jaden is reconsidering his position and he wants to join their side. Taking me to another illustration, point number two. I'll be talking about misuse of power that I'll be pegging it on Justice Jaden. Justice Jaden has been given the authority that he, he holds a position within the law enforcement. He is actually a magistrate or a judge. And Justice Jaden, you are being told, he is hawking justice like cabbages. That is an avenue whereby he uses the power that has been vested in him to commit evil against the people who cannot pay the stipulated amount of money. We even see that he twists the law to favor his side, as in the case of ruling in favor of IV. Point number three on misuse of power. First of all, you need to see what power does that person hold before they can use it in the negative. On misuse of power, point number three, I'll be talking about the secretary for health, someone by the name of Ted. Having that power, it fell under, under his docket that they needed to build a hospital. This can be found on page 64. And this hospital that he needed to build, the power that he has been given, he decides, I will give the contracts to build the hospital. I'll give them to my allies as well as my relatives' companies. He, they then conspired with the relatives and allies and they embezzled the funds that were meant for constructing of the hospital. And later on, to, show, uh, to make up for this, they had to put up some site offices that, according to Mayor Mosi, they were resembling cow sheds. You can imagine someone has been given their authority. This one is under you, therefore, built for us a hospital. He ends up embezzling the money. And then in, in place of the hospitals that were supposed to have been built, he puts up some kind of site offices and the money he pockets that was misuse of the power that he had been given. Taking me to point number four, I'll be talking about the Ramdai Alliance, as I prefer to call it, the people that were allied to the side of Ramdai, and they had the power to hound the mayor out of office if he did not play ball with them, the way they put it. He needs to play ball. If he doesn't play ball, we are going to hound him out of office. And how do they intend to use the power that they have in their hands? They intend to use their power to pass a vote of no confidence in Mayor Mosi. Mm -hmm. And we are re realizing that it is not even that they did not have the confidence in Mayor Mosi, but they wanted to prove a point to him. We are the ones who put you in office. We still have the same power. We can take you out of the same 
office that was misuse of power on the side of the Ramdae alliance. We're also looking at Ramdae on yet another point and Ramdae is misusing the power that he has in that all the municipal projects he ensures that that fall under his department he ensures that he gives them to his family and when the family is given they do not do any meaningful work but simply misappropriate the funds this can be found on page 62 further into the discussion of misses of power i'll look at yet another point the point on meamosi meamosi wants to make sure that people feel his authority as the mayor. And even at, at, at a certain time, he keeps reminding the people that he is dealing with that I am the mayor. For instance, he goes ahead and wants Nicole to portray him in the positive light to filter the information that comes through the Samaritan. And when Nicole is reluctant to do as he, uh, as he as he tells her, he goes ahead and reminds her, you will know I am the mayor of this municipality. I am Mo I am Mosi or Atunya, the smoke that thunders. You see that? He's trying to tell the teacher, I have the authority and I can use the authority against you. Mm -hmm. Imagine having the authority instead of doing the good with the authority that you have, you want to use it to oppress another person. It becomes misuse of power. And... Within the same uh, within the same municipality that is being run that is being run by Mayor Mosi, we see that there is poor leadership because how can people be eating a whole loaf, as it has been put in a metaphor? But how can people be eating a whole loaf, the wrapper as well as the vendor under your watch? Mm -hmm. That should be a factor that speaks to the fact that under Mayor Mosi there is poor leadership. He just allows the people to misuse misuse the little power that he has extended to the people that are to the subordinates to the people that are working under him and uh we still see another point that i had mentioned earlier on but i was looking at it from bembe's angle we can still have the same point but this time round i'll be looking at it from Moses' angle whereby he calls he invites justice jaden and they want Justice Jaden to be the one to prosecute the people for a certain scandal. Now that Justice Jaden was reluctant, Moi goes, uh, Mosi, now that Justice Jaden was reluctant, Mosi goes ahead and he says, with the authority that he has, he is now instructing Inspector Bembe to take, to take down a statement, to write a statement that will be used to jail to jail Justice Jaden. You see that? He wants to make sure that the power that he has is being used to intimidate and pull someone onto their side. After looking at this, we are, uh, that is it about the misuse of power, but among other points that you can find on misuse of power, as long as you look at someone in a position of power, someone with the influence and then they are using their influence in the wrong way it becomes misuse of power i'll still invite my colleague back to discussing yet another theme okay Welcome. thank you teacher Rispa, for that explanation on another major theme misuse of power so we are going to do our theme number six uh, technological advancement. So how has technology been brought out in this play, The Samaritan? Mm -hmm. So um, actually we can say it's also one of the main themes in this play because the title itself helps to develop uh, this theme, technological advancement. On page 18, we are actually told what The Samaritan app is. And uh, The Samaritan app is a mobile application that has been de developed by two students of Sagrada Secondary School, that is Alvita and Montano. And the purpose of this Samaritan hub is to help to clean uh, the municipality, Maracas municipality, uh, by uh, exposing the ills or the rot that is in the municipality for a better future or for a better tomorrow or actually to, uh, for better leadership. So the Samaritan, on page 18, I told the Samaritan hub has been online for a month now and it has taken over the national information and communication technology. Mm -hmm. So the students go further to explain that the app is supposed to 
have things that they call the pigeon holes, whereby uh, when you see something bad happen in the municipality mm -hmm. as as actually a citizen of that municipality, you just take a video or you do a text or you mm -hmm. take a picture and then you send it to the Samaritan using the right pigeon hole. Pigeon hole in this case is the department eh, mm -hmm. that are involved in that uh, area. And then the ills will be acted upon mm -hmm. so those in power maybe the 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 leaders or the judicial system will t act upon that ill that's cleaning the municipality of the ills in the society innovation itself brings out how advanced this municipality is tech uh, technological wise and uh, it's also brought out on page 10 up to page 11 when uh, they explain that uh, people share information about the rot in the municipality to the right department so that the officials can take action. So the second point is the two students mentioned about how technology will address uh, the future in their play within the play. So when they were trying to explain to those present during the closing assembly, and the launching of the Samaritan, they decided to stage a skit, to have a skit to explain better what will happen. Mm -hmm. So after Montana talks about how difficult life will be in the next 50 years mm -hmm. and uh, how bad the, the state will be, Alvita also says that she had also traveled into the, the future. So in her future, she sees a lot of technological advancement. Mm -hmm. So first of all, she says that she can see robots. She could see robots mm -hmm. uh, replacing the professionals like mm -hmm. accountants, law enforcers, mm -hmm. and so on. And where the, the robots who are running the municipality, people were out in space coming up with other innovations mm -hmm. to make life easier for human beings. She could also see that uh, there, were, uh, there were drugs that were developed mm -hmm to fight or to regenerate the cells to fight old age that people would remain for, would live for 700 years, looking young and uh, beautiful. So uh, she also says that they are going to come up with technology that is going to clean the air of carbon emissions to change the climate change so that it can rain whenever people wanted it to rain, mm -hmm. thus ensuring there is enough food mm -hmm. that is in the municipality mm -hmm. so uh she says that if people the leaders rule in the right way uh governed by the samaritan then in the next 50 years then the country will be learned by technology and things are going to be to be better than they are right now mm -hmm. then the last point we have on technological advancement is on page 27 that is brought out by Simo. So uh, we have said that te technology is good, but Simo says that mm -hmm. technology also has its own what, uh, negative effects. What does he say? He says that uh, he talks about spy app that can be used to steal confidential information mm -hmm. such as bank account details. Mm -hmm. uh, he also says that people can use technology to commit cyber crimes uh, such as cyberbullying and sharing of uh, pornographic materials in schools. So he uses this to show that, yes, mm -hmm. you're saying technology is good, but there is also the other side of mm -hmm. technology, which is bad. But was he saying it out of good heart or was he doing it to cover up something or mm -hmm. to hide something? Of mm -hmm. course, he was trying to demean, demean the, Samaritan. the Samaritan application mm -hmm. because by saying so, he's trying to say that let's not just focus on what is mm -hmm. uh, positive about the technology let's also see the effects of negative effects of technology mm -hmm. so he's doing this to fight the samaritan so that the samaritan does not does not expose mm -hmm. them as leaders and uh, bring out the ills or whatever they have the skeletons they have hidden in their closets so to save himself and other leaders from going to prison he now tries to bring the uh, bad side of technology. So those mm -hmm. are three points that uh, we see under technological advancement as a theme. And uh, we are going to end our session here, our learners, and um, press that subscribe button from me and teacher Rispa. It's a bye-bye until next time. Thank you.